fringe, 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 fringe. That's a fringe song. I just made it up. It kind of sucks. But you know what doesn't suck? This fringe jacket that I'm gonna show you guys how to do. I love fringe. It just basically jazzes up any article or accessory of clothing. And the good news is it's in and it's here to stay. So this is a great way to upcycle an old jacket. I'm personally going to be doing it to this light denim jacket that I have here. I'm just gonna fringe along the back. You could use a pleather, you could use another type of durable fabric. The good thing about a leather or a pleather, however, is that it has a self-healing edge when you cut it so you don't have to hem it or anything or worry about fraying. I will walk you through a couple of the other supplies. This hole punch is a leather hole punch. You can get them at the craft store. I also have a craft knife, a metal ruler, which is gonna really help me get straight lines. I have a nice cutting board here so that I can cut my fringe. I love this artificial sinew. I used to make jewelry with it. It's really strong. I'm gonna use a nice sharp needle to sew it on. So that's everything. Let me get to the process. So first step, you want to decide how far and where you want to place the fringe. I tried on this jacket and kind of noted where it started to curve around my shoulders, and it was about an inch in. So you just wanna make sure you try on your jacket first and really figure out where the best placement is for your fringe. So I want my fringe panel to take up most of this back area, just about an inch in on the sides, and then I want it to hang down the back and be a nice waterfall of fashion. I know where I'm placing it. I have my piece here, and I've also got my ruler, so you could either measure that area and then draw that out here. I found that this cutting board is actually the exact size that I want for my fringe panel. So I am going to just use this as sort of my template. And my panel is gonna go down about 13 inches. You can always make it a little bit longer because you can trim later. Now I'm going to cut out my shape using scissors. All right, so I have my rectangle and now I need to cut my fringe. I'm going to use my craft knife to get some nice thin pieces of fringe. I'm going to use this nice heavy metal yardstick as my guide. We're not cutting all the way through, obviously, because we want it to be a piece of fringe. So you wanna leave yourself about an inch at the top and try to make it as even as possible as you go. Woo! Car wash! All right, so I am going to stitch this piece on just below the seam right here, which I think will be a nice kind of finished look. It may make it look that much more a part of the jacket. So the sewing technique is really cool and it will involve your hole punch. If you've ever tried to sew through a thick fabric, it's pretty hard. So we're gonna do the hole punch to create some holes for us to just pass the needle through. Now this is where you guys can pick which type of stitch you want to do. I'm gonna do X's, so I need to create four holes. Now that I have my four center holes punched, I'm going to do another little quad on either end, and then I'm gonna do another set in the middle of these two side pieces, and I think that'll be enough to really anchor this piece onto the back of my jacket. All right, I've got my little stitch areas, and now I'm going to thread my needle with this wonderful artificial sinew. I'm gonna knot it off and go through the back of the jacket so that everything is just a nice, clean finish. And with one last snip of the scissor, we have fringe. I am on the fringe of glee, and I want other people to see. So now I shall flee. Maybe first I'll go pee pee. I mean, it doesn't get any cooler than that. A fringe jacket, am I right? It's so slay. And you know what else is awesome? You would pay some major buckaroos for a jacket like that in stores. And it's way cheaper to do DIY style, and it was pretty easy. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comments what you think, and if you have any questions. And most importantly, subscribe, because we have more DIY videos 
You don't want to miss spanking new in that inbox of yours. Thanks again for tuning in. Love you, love you lots. Bye. Mr. Kate. So we are making a DIY copper pipe and marble tile <laughs> makeup brush organizer that we're going to make now. And then we're going to go style it in Iman's space.